The Bilderberg Group consists of the heads of all of the managing roundtable groups that steer individual countries. Picture the elite power structure of the world as a giant pyramid, with only the elite of the elite at the tip top of the capstone. The group has been so secretive that until the mid-1980s, the controlled corporate media denied its existence. Into the late 1990s, coverage only consisted of rare one-line mentions. In 1954, the elite of the planet met in secret at the Bilderberg Hotel in Oosterbeck, Holland. The Bilderberg Group would later admit that their mission was the formation of the EU. Etienne Davignon is the honorary chairman of the Bilderberg Group, as well as the head of its steering committee. The committee he heads selects and invites each year's attendees. In the last decade, the list of attendees has been leaked to reporters by moles on the inside. This is the global government. They are setting the world agenda. Inside right now, they're deciding on whether or not there will be a war with Iran. They're deciding whether or not taxes will increase, whether oil prices will be suppressed or increased. There are, uh, there's much more on the agenda that we'll be finding out in the fullness of time. But those are three items that are heavy on their list this year. That we aren't uh, cooperating. Sure, yeah, thank you. Uh, Jim, Jim has some questions for you. Again, I need you to stay right on the sidewalk. Yeah. Thank you very much. We actually checked with the city. The property line is actually right here. Also, the head of Daimler Chrysler, Jurgen Eric Shrimp, arrives by helicopter. Here, the owner of the Washington Post, Donald Graham, escorts Indra Nui, the head of PepsiCo. Queen Beatrix of the Netherlands, whose father, Prince Bernhard, founded Bilderberg, is a leading figure in the group. Of course, globalist kingpin David Rockefeller, seen here with his bodyguard, James Ford, always attends. The then newly appointed World Bank Chief, Paul Wolfowitz, is photographed at Bilderberg 2005. It has been reported that Wolfowitz had attended previous meetings while still the Deputy Secretary of Defense, a violation of the Logan Act. Under the Logan Act, it is a felony offense for any member of the federal or state government to meet with members of a foreign government without the express authority and authorization of the President or Congress. Put simply, it is illegal for members of the government to meet secretly behind closed doors with foreign power brokers due to the problems of corruption and espionage that it breeds. For this reason, many prominent politicians attend, but their names do not appear on the official list. Despite the Logan Act, the governor of New York's name, George Pataki, does appear on the list, and we were able to catch the governor on tape, walking with David Rockefeller at Brook Street. Multiple staff members inside Brook Street reported to us that Hillary Clinton attended for half a day. Several armored limos with diplomatic plates did arrive with police escorts and offloaded their passengers in the underground parking garage out of the sight of the press. Former World Bank President James Wolftonson sardonically stared at our cameras. So I'm sure they're ticked. You know, and that's why we're here to try to expose them. Do you think that they were angry that they were on the front page of the local paper today? You think they're in there reading it right now, Jim? Uh, yes, no, I don't think they're happy about it. They prefer nothing at all, no publicity. They pre prefer absolute secrecy. Alex? Yeah. That's Chalabi, eh? You think Chalabi? No, 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 I don't think. I know. It looked like Chalabi, and it was a fat, fat guy. Yeah. That was Ahmed Chalabi? Yeah. 
Oh my god, then they're really going to attack Iran. <laughs> The decisions that these people take, again, they're not only decisions that affect business community, they affect uh, politics, business, environment across the entire spectrum. And these decisions are made and taken by a very elite group of people behind closed doors this year at the Brook Street Hotel. We are not private to these decisions. We're not allowed to know what they're talking about. But we'll definitely feel the consequences of these decisions over the next 12 months when events which apparently by accident seem to happen, in fact, have been planned right here this year at Brook Street Hotel between 8th and 11th of June. What does it do when you get 120 of the most powerful people in the world getting together to have meetings with government officials? I mean, that, that's amazing. Well, it is. This is what I mean, is that they're planning the corporate agenda. They're not uh, planning the uh, democratic human journey agenda, in my opinion. Mussolini had a definition. Bilderberg was founded by David Rockefeller and the Rothschilds in Britain and Europe. Uh, they're still uh, the main powers. Baron Evelyn de Rothschild, a male, uh, attended for many years. Rothschild is still represented. You'll see them on the list. Of participants, somebody representing the Rothschild Group. They are the main powers uh, behind Bilderberg. Rockefeller frontman Henry Kissinger is always a key participant. Here you see the president of the CFR, Richard N. Haas, followed by vice chairman of Rothschild Europe, Franco Barnaby, who is speaking with Henry Kravitz. And behind them is Richard Holbrook, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Because the Bilderberg Group runs the world. You have the Trilateral Commission that's also part of the Bilderberg, which is the uh, United States, Europe, and Asia. But most of this is public knowledge, uh, that yeah. world leaders are already elected before they're voted on. Let trillions of dollars slip through their hands. The good news is people are waking up, though. When you read human history, when you study it, all, of, all you see is elites trying to dominate, subterfuge, Machiavellian backstabbing. And somehow in the last 50 years, they convinced Westerners that the government's fine, can do no wrong, trust them. How did this happen? <laughs> it's easy to lead sheep. I mean, people just follow. They don't want to believe these things will happen. No way. We'll just follow along with the norm. That's all. It's just um, makes it easier for everyone. Do you know about the European Union? No. Europe, 15 member group expanding. A what? 15 nations of Europe merging in 2000. Whatever. <laughs> For over 50 years, the Bilderberg Group constructed the European Union by stealth under the guise of trade deals. Now the elite are using the same secretive program to complete the North American Union. But this time, superstate integration is on the extreme fast track. International agreements like NAFTA, GATT, and APEC were just stepping stones in the formation of the NAU. Now the Bilderberg Group and Reuters, which they own, have gone public that they actually groom our presidents, our prime ministers, that yes, they really are international bankers, yes, they are royal families, yes, they do run the central banks, and that we are the property of a global super state in Reuters they're throwing it in your face, which is owned by a Bilderberg Group member, like Prince Philip.